all over the world, trees are disappearing on a massive scale. And it's a phenomenon that's linked to many outbreaks of infectious disease. In Brazil, for example, the burning of rainforest directly impacted the spread of malaria. Clearing land for agriculture in Indonesia triggered the first outbreaks of Nipah virus in humans. And in West Africa, road construction and logging were factors in the re-emergence of Ebola. As humans radically reshape landscapes across the world, viruses previously confined to wildlife have more opportunity to spill over into humans, which experts say was the likely starting point of coronavirus. About 60% of all diseases that infect humans originate in animals. In the case of COVID-19, scientists theorize that it originated in a bat and jumped to another species before reaching humans. And while disease spillover is rare, the likelihood of transmission seems to increase when viruses spread first to domestic animals, like poultry, cows, or pigs. And changes to the environment by humans can amplify the spillover effect. We did an analysis of all the instances of new emerging diseases over the last 80 years and looked at the exact reasons and circumstances as to how those diseases emerged. Jonathan Epstein is a veterinarian and disease ecologist at EcoHealth Alliance who studies emerging zoonotic viruses. One of the most significant drivers responsible for about 30% of all the emerging disease events is land use change. That could be deforestation, it could be agricultural expansion, but it could also be reforestation. These kinds of shifts in land use are seen all over the world. In disrupting intact ecosystems, they reduce the natural barriers between virus host animals and humans. When EcoHealth Alliance mapped out where zoonotic outbreaks are most likely to occur, the global hotspots, highlighted in yellow, aligned with areas where large numbers of humans and livestock are living near pristine environments that are experiencing rapid development. Well, when we look at the, the areas on the planet that, that tend to be the most vulnerable to emerging viruses, and specifically zoonotic viruses, it does have a lot to do with biodiversity. But it's not the presence of biodiversity that's the risk. It's the change to that environment, the incursion of people and domestic animals that really creates the risk of these viruses getting out of their native hosts and into people. And nobody can predict exactly when or where the next outbreak will occur, or even what virus will be responsible. But identifying places most at risk is one step that can help researchers earlier detect zoonotic diseases in wildlife and livestock before they have a chance to spread widely among humans. Controlling the severity of an outbreak and stopping the next pandemic before it starts.